Welcome back, it's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using the Live and Let Grow collection from Jen Hadfield. I almost wanted to say Vicki Booten because that has been my go-to lately, but this is Jen Hadfield. I was going through it for fishing layouts and then found this beautiful, like the pinks and it's not really a mustard. I don't know what color to call it, but then the shells and I knew or I thought I had pictures of shells and the ocean still to scrapbook. And so I decided to use this collection. Um, I have quite a bit of it and I don't know, I guess it kind of shows you how versatile it is. So there's like camping and fishing, but then there's also like the beach and shells and all that stuff. So I am actually going to get four photos on this single page here. I am trimming these four by six photos down a little bit because I do want the top three to go all the way across the page, uh, but I wanted kind of some separation between them as well. So what I'm gonna do is actually place them on, I believe, a white piece of cardstock um, and kind of back them that way and just have them go all the way across um, and then they're kind of all done. And now that I think about it, the middle one, I do keep um, separate and I am going to back that one or mat that one separately and kind of have that one pop up off the page. So I wanted a very, very thin white strip on the top of the photo and the bottom of the photo. I didn't want to take too much of the whole layout up um, or any extra, I guess. And so now I'm going to mat the center photo, which you can tell is a little bit thinner or quite a bit thinner, I guess, than the outer two photos. Um, I tr wasn't able to trim the other two down. They were just too close. Um, up selfies of course um so there are two you know our faces were too close and so i couldn't trim those and so i decided just to trim that middle one down a little bit so that it did give me a little bit of leeway um i wanted obviously to incorporate the shells into the layout and i look back and think i maybe i should have made that the majority of the layout uh, maybe challenge myself and had that kind of my base page it is really busy but i think i could have done away or i could have gotten away with that as the base page if i kind of switched out that deeper pink paper um with the shell paper and made sure that there was a thick, I guess, barrier between my photos and the um, shell paper, if that makes sense. Looking back, maybe I would have done it differently, but this is how I, um, this is how I did it. So I brought in a thicker strip of the shell paper down below. Um, I wanted that picture of the shells kind of down below the rest of the photos, but I didn't want it to float, I guess. And so I did end up with a thicker strip of the shell paper. Um, and then I am going to mat the middle photo and then the shell photo with a light pink. So both of those um, solid pieces of paper uh, came from the project pad. So I have that and I have just the 12 by 12 paper pad as well. So I have a lot of this, but I really enjoy the project pads because they do have the corresponding kind of solid pieces of paper. I wanna say cardstock, but it's not, you know, it's not the thick cardstock. So now that I have kind of the base of my layout done, it is the fun part and embellishing. So I did pop that middle photo up on foam tape. I am starting to use that foam tape I got from scrapbook.com. And I'm not going to lie, for the price and how much I got, I may be going back to the Dollar Tree foam tape. Um... I like the quality of the foam tape I got from scrapbook.com, but again, I and I would have to look at the packaging at a Dollar Tree to see if it says how much you get. Um, but I just, I don't know. I like how the other one has different widths and maybe 
if I combine those three widths from the Dollar Tree into one roll, it probably is equivalent. And price-wise, no, not price-wise, it's not equivalent because it's $1.25 compared to, I think I spent over $3. So this is me just talking um, <laughs> out loud, maybe helping you guys out too with your foam tape. So I might be going back to the Dollar Tree if I can find it um, and stocking way up on that foam tape. So I kind of needed a title and going through the ephemera, I found that circular piece of ephemera. It says happy day. And I thought maybe I could use that. Um, I knew that there were a like a large shell in the ephemera too. Um, so I really tried to sort out, I guess, the beachy um, ephemera pieces and kind of separated out some florals too. Considered maybe adding the florals, but um, I don't think I did end up adding any of the florals. And my only title is that Oh Happy Day. So I do kind of wish I would have maybe done a larger title, but I really could not come up with a better title, I guess. I must have been in a, a slump for titles on this particular day. So the Oh Happy Day ephemera is going to be the title. I do add that pretty sun hat and the camera at the top cluster there. Um, I did have to pop or add some foam tape to the hat because my photo is popped up on some foam tape. Um, and then I'm going to commit to the title. So there is that big shell. And then I am going to pop the Oh Happy Day up on foam tape as well. Those rectangles came from Hobby Lobby. And I do like those. Um for pieces like that where I kind of need that medium sized um, foam tape. Those are working well. Um, I can't remember how much I spent on those, but I do enjoy those. Um, and then I did decide to pop up my shell photo on foam tape as well. I just really like to give my layouts dimension and that is just an easy way to do that. Um, apparently I didn't like the placement of that hat and so I... <laughs> rearranging it um, and so with that I had to rearrange the foam tape on the back as well so it's kind of coming to the end I am kind of trying to figure out what to embellish how to embellish um, kind of down to the right of that um, shell photo there I do have those two pieces, the sun and that shell, and like the way that that looks. Um, and then on the sticker sheet, there were quite a few other shells. So I did scatter those, added one to the top, um, and then kind of adding them, scattering them throughout. A couple of them, like the starfish I'm going to add, do not match color-wise, but uh, again, it's just kind of the beachy feel. And so I do end up adding those. And then if you've been watching for a while, you know I love phrase stickers, the little phrase stickers. And so the Project Pad had these kind of wood grain ones, and I like the kind of the subtle color of them. And so I did add them to like the title cluster, and that just brings that down further, um, kind of elongates the layout kind of. And then I added one to the cluster on the right and just had to rearrange the um, one shell. And then to finish off the layout, I am just going to add the puffy hearts. Um, these are from the same collection. And so I did kind of just sprinkle those throughout the layout to kind of finish it off. Um, so once that's done, I think this is going to finish off the layout. I will look and see if this is available, this collection at a scrapbook.com or a cherry on top, a scrapbook.com. I'm so used to a cherry on top, scrapbook.com <laughs> or a cherry on top and link it down below for you if you are interested. But I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and we will see you next time. Bye guys.